Good evening. I'm Bill Hoyt. I'm a candidate for the Middle Republican Natural Resource District. I grew up on a farm uh, with land in both Hitchcock and Red Willow counties. I spent 24 years in the city of McCook as a criminal investigator and an EMT. And I was there when we were searching for a new well field. And I was here when we had to uh, redo the wastewater treatment plant because of lack of stream flow. I've traveled extensively throughout the US and spent a short time in Australia. So I've had the opportunity to see firsthand what happens when an area has no water or runs their aquifer dry. We really don't want to have that happen here. Since I'm no longer with the city, I have uh, moved back to the farm with my wife. We have two grown sons, one's uh, pursuing a uh, uh, interest in the retail industry in Omaha, and the other is still on world tour with the Marine Corps. This board is charged with the responsibility of managing water resources in Red Willow, Hitchcock, Hayes, Frontier, and part of Lincoln County for the benefit of all. I started this project with a simple desire to be in position to help solve some of the critical water issues facing this area. Since then, I've read extensively. I've attended board meetings and hearings. I don't expect to find easy solutions. All I can promise to do is do my best to read, think, and listen to find the best solutions that will be fair to everyone in the district. I was at the hearing where a number of knowledgeable individuals, including the Bureau of Reclamation, told the current MR Middle Republican Board that their management plan wasn't fair and wouldn't work. They adopted it anyway. I've often said one of the worst mistakes a criminal investigator can make is to think he knows the answers before he has gathered all the evidence and has listened carefully to all the witnesses. That kind of arrogance just has no place in public service. Thank you. Hi, Bill. Where do you see the opportunities to improve our water solutions? It's going to take everyone working together, flat out. We're going to have to, uh, the biggest thing is to reduce the depletion of the aquifer. Until we get to sustainability, I don't see anything else that's going to work for the long term. Everything they talk about with their current management plan all deals with uh, what do we do when this doesn't work. Or it, it it's all strikes me as temporary solutions. We've got to get to some long term solutions and uh, and the the one thing that was brought up is the uh, some of the conservation measures. Um, and I would like to compliment the current board on some of that work that they've done. Retirement of acres, that type of thing. Uh, and they've also done some good work with the uh, getting the trees out of the river. There are some good things. It needs to be more, and it needs to be fair across the board. Hi, Bill. Larry, uh, it's beginning late. I'm getting a little soft, but uh, this goes along with the uh, being a police detective and a criminal investigator. Um, it looks like we have some investigation to do here, and I wonder if you can maybe tell how your past experience. I mean, everybody's looking for this water solution, and I guess maybe. Uh, criminal investigation has something to do with finding solutions. Yeah, the, uh, um, that was a good question. The, basically, you've got to go in and accept evidence and testimony from everybody. It's one of the first things I learned uh, is you cannot pick and choose where your evidence takes you. You let the evidence take you where it will. Uh, I'm seeing kind of a tendency to listen to what we want to hear and ignore what we don't want to hear. 
And I, I think that's kind of a bad direction. Uh, of course, enforcement is obviously near and dear to my heart. Uh, one of the things I've looked at uh, is the idea on this well metering. Um, there's been several examples where perhaps this isn't uh, as effective as it could be. Uh, talked with uh, some people from the uh, REA working on the general idea of remote monitoring on some of these well sites. I think it would be less intrusive to the well owners and more effective on uh, follow-up and uh, being able to enforce the metering system that we've got. In order to find out where your water's going, you've got to know how much is going through the pipes. And if you don't know that, you haven't got a way to, to monitor what's headed out. I just talked around the circle there, sorry. You may have thought I was agreeing, I was just nodding off. <laughs> I can see where that would happen. Uh, I'd just like to point out to everybody that this isn't just about fair treatment for all irrigators, although that is essential to the economy of Red Willow and Hitchcock counties. This isn't just about maintaining our dams for flood control, irrigation, and recreation, although that also is important. Uh, this is about assuring an adequate groundwater supply for domestic use. Right now, house wells and stock wells are already going dry. Water in southwest Nebraska is essential to sustaining life. Thank you. <laughs>